I have done it. I made it so you can I can now upload videos from a website. Well, you can't, but you know I can. You just specify. I'd, I'd specify video. You just upload. So I could do this from the phone as well, but it's getting easier to see this. We find a file in here. You find a file. You put your title in. HTML description. Click upload. I don't. I'm probably not going to have the source available, but here's the PHP code behind it. Essentially, they're on the same server. So what we're going to do? This is just it's probably pretty bad source. But you know, it's saying if it's not PHP, and it's a post request, do that and description. Put the description as string. And then the temp file name of the video right here. The title and the description of the video. This title is actually the actual title of the video. What we specify in here, like verbatim, like the file is, yeah, this is essentially the temp file name of the file, description is the PHP code, and then description, title, file, we're checking for the not, in, not MP string, and the source file is just another variable I create, gets the Gets the original video. I mean, well, and it gets the destination video. This HTML file. We don't care what the extensions are. We're just gonna make it MP4. I don't care. Even if the camera's even high, we need this MP4. It's probably pretty bad. Uh, file put contents. We put the description into an HTML file. This file here. It, it's being read in. Execute, we move the temporary file into source file. Then we run a screen command with the convert.sh, which takes the source file and the destination file. This is so I can have smaller MP4s. These will be MP4. This one's the output is always an MP4. Regardless. If the input is okay, your video will be available shortly. It will be available at this path and a URL and code slot. Yeah, and then, then you forgot something. If it doesn't, yeah, here's your footer. Actually, let's let's remove this description because sometimes I like to have empty descriptions. Okay. Okay, let's save, and then there you go, you got it, and then it adds the footer to make the website look pretty, and then here's the uh, page, uh, maybe I'll put this in a gist, as there's no private data in there, mm. and then we go right here, we refresh this page, It's a pastor making cotton candy. <laughs> and you get a description, it was good. This can be anything that's HTML related. But yeah. And then it really encourages you to download it. So it's literally playing in my video player. And then... This is just... An update on it. Not too much. I want to see the specifications to that video. So what we're gonna do is essentially just do this. Out of the video. FFM tag. Dash I. Then do another quote. Uh, 
I lower this down to where is it? Six forty by four eighty. And then it's like the file's like thirty one six meg. Ow. Oh. And the copy that was on my phone was like a gig. So yeah. Wow. And then if you're wondering what the script is Okay, we have the LS. Cat. All the script runs is FFmpeg and take the first argument as the input of the file, the input file, and then argument two is the output. Okay. <laughs> okay, I got it all.